So, as you know, we have recently lost Betty White, and she seems like she was a really good person. This got me thinking about that older generation of show business stars, and also put me in mind of a story from my younger days. There are people out there who have posted loving tributes on Twitter and other social media. There's a ton of clips out there. There's a lot of tributes. One clip I saw recently was Mary Tyler Moore talking about Betty White being cast as Sue Ann Niven in the Mary Tyler Moore show. And what happened is the brief came over, Mary looks at it, and they said they wanted to hire somebody who seemed as sweet as Betty White, but as vicious as a barracuda. So Mary calls the producers and says, why don't you call Betty White? They said, but she's your friend. You know, uh, what happens if she doesn't get the part? Won't that be uncomfortable for you? And Mary says, I think I'd rather be asked. So just go ahead and ask her. So when the producers call Betty White, she says yes, hangs up the phone immediately and calls Mary and says, did you recommend me for this part? And Mary's like, uh, oh, no, no, I didn't recommend you for that part. Of course, later, Betty found out that Mary did recommend her and they had a good laugh. These were two very classy, very sweet ladies in show business, which is a business that has its share of idiots. And I've certainly met a couple of them myself. Speaking of clips, my wife and I were recently watching uh, some bloopers from the show Hot in Cleveland. And Hot in Cleveland had Betty White in it. And these bloopers were hilarious. She seems like she was a lot of fun to work with. And it just started my association. And so I asked my wife if I'd ever told her my Mary Tyler Moore story. When I was still living in my hometown of Richmond, Virginia, I was an accompanist for dance classes. I did modern and I did ballet. And I was a little bit better at modern because modern is something you just improvise. But I was pretty good at ballet and I was known as being a good person to get to accompany a ballet class. One day I got a call from the Richmond Ballet and they asked me if I wanted to come and accompany a very special ballet class that they were having. Well, they didn't call me a whole lot, and so I thought it sounded great. Uh, I went over there at the appointed time, and there were two other people in the room. One was the patriarch, uh, the guy who'd been there the longest. Uh, he's a French-speaking gentleman who was the lead ballet teacher, and the other person was Mary Tyler Moore. And Mary Tyler Moore was known as being an avid dancer, and she'd been in Broadway and everything. And I guess she just wanted to keep her chops up. We all knew that Mary was in town to film a movie called Finnegan Begin Again with Robert Preston, who was famous for making The Music Man. He was Professor Harold Hill. But uh, and his career had waned a little bit. And uh, one of the reasons I knew that is because one of my friends was an extra in the movie. So I play the class, it seems to go pretty well. Going home, and when I get there, a few minutes later, the phone rings, it's the Richmond Ballet again, and they say, would you like to come in and play another class? And I said, sure. Soon after, I go over there, I walk in, and Mary says, Reed, hi, how you doing? How's your week been? I just, she just couldn't have been nicer to me. I couldn't believe it. I mean. Keep in mind, in those days, I was this guy. So anyway, I play the class. It seems to go well, you know. I go home, and uh, I get there. The phone rings a couple minutes later. It's the Richmond Ballet again. They say, hey, can you come over and do another class later this week? I said, sure. Mary Tyler Moore, the show, was on all the time. Um, at that time in syndication, like on in the afternoons. And I watched it all the time. So, you know, it was a real kick for me to be able to do this. So, I decide that I'm going to tell a joke when I walk in next time. 
because I just want to, you know, bring some attention to myself and, you know, create a connection and everything like that. So I walk in for the next class and Mary's like, hey, how are you doing? How's everything going? She was just like her Mary Tyler Moore character. And uh, I said, well, all right. And she said, uh, you know, what's up? And I said, you know, I hope you're happy. I had to miss the Mary Tyler Moore show for this. And the uh, ballet teacher, who was French, um, and yeah, you know, English was a second language, and maybe he didn't own a TV. Uh, you know, he didn't really think that much of it. I think maybe he was concerned. But she gave me a good laugh, and that was wonderful. And, uh, you know, I will always remember her kindness. I'm sorry she's gone too, of course. I got to this from thinking about Betty White. So anyway, I ended up doing a couple more classes with Mary and with the teacher. They were always wonderful, and it put kind of a spring in my step. A year later, I would be in New York, sort of trying to figure it all out, and I was looking for work as an accompanist, a ballet and modern dance accompanist here in New York. And I got a gig with the Broadway Dance Center, and I got my ass handed to me on a silver platter because I was not ready for prime time when I got here because people were so good here. So that's a story for another day, but it just even highlighted even more how, you know, because she was a New York person. She knew what this was, and she could have been ratty and nasty to me, but instead, she was very sweet and kind. So all those people, so many people gone just in the last week or so. Betty White, um, Marilyn Bergman, Michael Lang, Bob Saget. It, it's, it's just sad. Please stop dying, good people. Please stop dying. Because I, I have a list of people that we could really do without. And none of these people were on the list. Anyway, I'm Reed Robbins, and thank you so much for hanging out.